Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I spawn, I just spawn. Yo, what's up guys? Today we're back with another League Racing video. This time in Mexico on ALR and if you've seen the last video in USA you know we are second in the championship behind Trocker and at this point I think we were behind him with 18 points I'm not sure again anymore unfortunately I don't have the standings anymore um, but let's get into qualifying as you can see for my first set of sauce I did two oh runs and both of them I invalidated so now Sophia. we're gonna go for our second uh, set of tires and actually our third run and we're gonna try and uh, of course just get a faded lap on the board uh, we do have another set set of softs left so if we can get a good banker then um, we're gonna be happy so for turn one break right after the 100 meter board hit that apex and cut both these curbs and you want to cut more of that second curb we still get a decent exit get a little bit of a toe from my teammate and for the first sector split we do a 28.2 which actually considering we cut uh, we bumped over the whole curb isn't too bad uh, then just here it's all about just hitting the apexes especially on your banker run you just don't want to make any mistakes uh, then going into this sector here all about not invalidating because uh, <laughs> i did that previously already so we take a line where it's not too close to the line outside the line of the track then into the last sector here uh, important to not lock up we hit the apex nicely short shift up to fourth then break after that camera port or uh, black box take a short line and we cross the nice. line with a 14.5 and you can hear me say nice because i was pretty happy with that lap especially it was my banker still some time in it definitely not a perfect lap or a good lap or <laughs> anything but it was proficiently Paul, and my teammate then told me something. Actually, just actually just leave leave him the the ball now. Stay P two P three. Perfect. Just keep your keep your last soft. Uh... Yeah. So he's saying, don't go out on that last set of soft. So save that last set. You'll be third maximum, and on Mexico there's such a long straight. That you'll be fine and as you can see we did get third in the end um we could have definitely gotten a tenth out of that lap and got on pole but so mexican so uh, grand prix yeah. had such a long straight um, at the start that with a good one. start we're gonna be first yeah. strategy is a soft medium soft like or yeah, just a one stop uh, just a soft medium i was actually planning to do a soft medium but with safety cars in this um league <laughs> that's very unlikely so we start third um which is might might be the best position to start in um on mexico usually we get a pretty good start so let's see if we can do that for the mexican grand prix in alr as the lights are going on here five red lights and they're out off we go we get a great start as you can see just a very good start especially compared to the cars around us and we straight away get past to past style repass we, so we don't even have the advantage of a slipstream on this long straight um we're going three wide into turn one and luckily we are able to get the lead so straight away getting the lead which is very important for our race of course and hoping to not get lunged into this corner here so we kind of cut off the car behind us um so yeah we're first into lap one now we're gonna skip all the way onto lap four where the drs had has opened and i noticed my pace was not great i was making mistakes and i was just not confident um this is not a great track for me and here i didn't mind letting trucker by um because he was just way faster so i didn't want to fight him that much but to be honest I just didn't want to use overtake but I didn't mind fighting that much uh, but very important to not let Stelrepa behind us go as well because um, we don't want to be the third one in a DRS train so we're able to stel uh, to leave Stelrepa behind us Trucker in front of us now is just very important for us to just stay in 
his DRS stay in his one second of course and if we do that we should be good because uh, I was expecting his pace to be quite good and as you can see straight away he's pulling away from me and we get a warning as well um, but yeah it's not over here we go wide again luckily didn't get a warning there but you can just tell that you have to be so close to the track limits here and you have to be very precise which is very hard of course if you're not even comfortable on this track and you can see we do uh, we are able to stay close enough to trucker to have the arrest on him and you can see how much time we gain on him here so now it's only lap five again as you can see in in the top left my teammate is in fourth place so it actually wouldn't be bad for me and trucker to fight a little bit and lose some time it would only be bad if i cost uh, it if it cost me ers because you can't gain that back here so we go side to side with trucker here we're gonna go around the outside of him and we make the move I think he also knew that fighting wouldn't be the smartest thing right now. Um, so yeah, we get back up to first position here. Um, which of course is good for my teammate as my pace is just a lot slower than the cars around me. So um, yeah, my teammate says he's, no, don't fight too much. But uh, yeah, I wasn't planning to really slow down, but just uh, not just ERS and just uh, defend. But then here we go wide and we're gonna go onto the throttle and. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! And we lose the car, we spin out, and you guys saw this already at the start of the video. We were in first position and then we spin out. Um, and we lose out and now we're in p8 luckily we didn't have front wing damage or anything would uh, what would ruin our whole race and we are still in p9 and yeah completely my own fault here you can see big bambino uh pushing paul house a little bit and paul is getting a very bad run um still knew that he would have the arrest here but now we're back to p9 after that spin which is just just a spin i don't know what happened exactly I, I went wide and then i i thought the car was straight enough for me to go full throttle but clearly it wasn't so i was kind of confused but um yeah it still happened and you can see me and all house get getting past big bambino um making the move on his inside uh, at this point in the race i don't think the softs are faster than the mediums anymore um i don't think the mediums are a lot faster than the softs either so um looking at our pace we were we were able to stick with these guys and now we're gonna try and get past ball house as we get a very good exit out of turn two and we're gonna not use a lot of overtake he doesn't have drs so we're gonna go to the inside but we wait break way too late uh luckily it's all good he d he's not able to get a switch back and we get the move done on Paul House as well who's already got three seconds right now and yeah um you can just tell yeah getting so close to the line that's already a warning and you all know three warnings is a three second time penalty and it just keeps going so you just can't afford to get any warnings um on this track then Ross here uh, is in the Ferrari, his teammates with Trocker. So I was thinking that he might, uh, he was might maybe planning to hold, hold me up here. But he goes into the pits, gives me some DRS, um, which is nice. And then the lap after that, a VSC gets deployed, which is really bad for my teammate because he stayed out here. Trocker pit as well. And you can see in the top left, we're going to pit, of course. And we gain a lot of time because I think Trocker had a um, 5 second time penalty or front wing damage. And he also already has 3 seconds as well. Uh, uh, so somehow I'm not the first one to get penalties for the first time in my life. And Trocker here, he was just faster than me. So there was not really a chance for me to uh, get closer to him. Even though uh, he lost out a bunch of time. And here we get our first three seconds as well. 
uh, just a stupid mistake because we didn't have any pressure from around us so there's no reason for us to actually push that hard to get a penalty and now big bambino on the fresh softs is gonna pass us we're moving on pretty quickly now all the way to lap 20 um yeah big bambino passes us on the fresh soft nothing really we can do we also don't have a lot of ers you can't regain ers on this track so you just have to try and not use anything as we are now closing in on Braj, we who we um got back to and now you can see in turn one we could have fought him into turn one but i wanted to have a better exit for turn two make it easy for myself and you can see him mess up that corner a little bit and we use some drs and we get past to past Braj, um without using ERS and already before the corner so without losing too much time as well and we pit and to lap 27 as you can see to the fresh softs um we're not gonna be close enough for a win but let's see where we come out uh we're gonna come out in ninth position um still some people in front of us who have to pit um so we're gonna stay on board now because Brajk is going to be very close i think he still had drs from uh before the pit entry and i didn't of course so he's gonna straight away go for a move and i didn't want to use overtake for this i did use some uh, so i really didn't want to let him by but he's gonna go to the inside of me here i'm gonna break very late and this time not too late and we are able to defend our position and all this fighting is only costing us time but because we have to catch up to the cars ahead of us if we want still want to make something out of this race uh, we both have three seconds so i didn't didn't want to let him go of course um, but i felt on the medium i felt quicker than him you can see how much we're struggling just taking horrible lines yes, and well. yeah not really good as Brajk has 3 seconds as well now I noticed so we're in P9 lap 26 uh, let's see if people pit here Will Pits, gives me DRS. Will pits and no. Why not? he does not. not give me DRS somehow no clue Why but we move up to P8 now and Brajk is still behind us we don't have DRS now so we don't want to lose our, too much of our battery again so we're gonna just let him go through and give him the position and see what his pace was um, for now yeah, and hopefully he was also able to catch up to the cars ahead of us as Easter pit in the meantime now we're moving oh, on pit. to lap 30 yeah. uh, we're finally gonna go past Brask try to save some ERS if I could and let him use some um, but, uh, which I think yeah, worked yeah, fine so we probably have more ERS at this point than him not sure of course uh, but we have to try and catch up to Big Bambino who's not too far ahead and I felt quicker than him uh, So I really wanted to catch up to him and of course try to still get that fourth position um, in this race and We're gonna stay on board because you're gonna see me make a little bit of a mistake Whoa! here We get six another warning <laughs> Six seconds we get another warning straight after that because we were so frustrated and now we're gonna move on to lap 33 where we make another mistake i was pushing really hard to get close to big bambino and you can see i make a mistake in there here no! what look at what, hap what happens oh. i was just readjusting my thumb on the joystick <coughs> i made a little mistake and somehow we get a warning in a position where you where, you, where it's like you never get a warning so somehow oh, after a couple of ball. laps we've got okay. nine seconds luckily yeah, here well. big bambino luckily for us just, uh, unfortunately for him of course off. so we end up with nine seconds and we end up crossing the line in p4 but because of the nine seconds the gap we pulled from Braj is not going to be enough and that's very disappointing of course because trocker oh, finished in so third place on the bright side okay. he didn't gain as much points still increased the gap to i think 22 points at this point next week is gonna be china stay tuned for that if you enjoyed this video leave a like go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys next time